Learning English helps me prepare for the birth of my baby. Hi, welcome to the SBS Learn English podcast, where we help Australians to speak, understand, and connect. SBS acknowledges the traditional custodians of country and their connections and continuous care for the skies, lands, and waterways throughout Australia. My name is Nikki, and like you, I'm always excited to learn new English words and phrases to help me make my way around Australia as a resident, worker, wife, and mum. And speaking of being a mum, what a journey it has been. And that journey began with my pregnancy and all the new English words and phrases I had to learn to talk about it to health professionals and even my friends. So if you're expecting, meaning you are pregnant, or if you have anyone in your life preparing for the birth of a baby, you might get into a conversation just like this one between sisters Grace and Stella. Grace tells her sister Stella that she is pregnant. I've got some really exciting news to share with you. We're expecting. Oh, wow. Congratulations. How far along are you? When's your due date? Stella asks Grace how far along she is in her pregnancy and when her due date is. These are two very common questions people ask when they find out that someone is pregnant. To ask someone how far along are you usually means how many weeks or months pregnant are you? When someone asks these two questions, a pregnant woman can reply, I'm in my second trimester, so finally the morning sickness has eased off. I'm due in July. A pregnancy is divided into three trimesters. The first trimester is the first three months and a time when morning sickness or nausea and vomiting, is particularly bad. A woman commonly has less nausea and more energy during her second trimester. The third trimester, that is, the final 12 weeks of the pregnancy, she can feel rather heavy as the baby grows bigger. As a woman gets closer to giving birth, her friends and family might throw her something that Stella is about to mention. Okay, I'm throwing you a huge baby shower. A baby shower is a celebration that people prepare for an expectant mother and or father before a child is born. We say that we throw a baby shower just like we throw any kind of party. The term baby shower comes from showering the mother with gifts and love. Let's listen to that whole conversation again. <laughs> I've got some really exciting news to share with you. We're expecting. Oh, wow. Congratulations. How far along are you? When's your due date? I'm in my second trimester, so finally the morning sickness has eased off. I'm due in July. Okay, I'm throwing you a huge baby shower. Oh, what fun. I remember the baby shower I had for my first baby. We played a lot of fun games. And people brought so many wonderful gifts to prepare for the arrival of my little one. You know another thing I did to prepare myself for my baby? I took an antenatal class. An antenatal class is a class that a pregnant woman, and often her partner, can attend to prepare for the birth of a child and parenthood. You'll learn practical lessons on a whole range of things that is important to know, such as breastfeeding, swaddling or wrapping a baby with a blanket, and changing nappies. Let's listen in on another conversation between two moms attending an antenatal class. It's so exciting to finally take part in this antenatal class, isn't it? I know. We're so lucky we're part of the catchment area for this hospital. The term catchment area is something that you'll hear a lot in Australia, whether or not you are going to have a baby. 
if you live in a catchment area for a school or a hospital, it means that you're allowed to use the services of that school or hospital. The catchment area for a hospital can also be called a health service area. It is made of suburbs that a particular hospital or health institute serves. Usually, the closest public hospital to where you live will be the one that serves your area. Mom one agrees and replies. Yes, my sister had her baby here as well, and she said that the midwives and doctors are amazing. While we're all familiar with doctors, midwives are very important people you'll be meeting during your pregnancy. A midwife is a health professional who is trained to support and care for women during their pregnancy, labor, and the birth of their babies. Not only do they help keep you healthy during your pregnancy, they'll also help you adjust to becoming new parents. Now let's go back to that antenatal class. Do you know what a birth plan is? Listen to the moms and see if you can work out what it means. I'm hoping all goes well and I have a natural birth, but I have made sure that my birth plan includes an epidural. What about you? A birth plan is a written summary of what a woman would like to happen when she is in labor and giving birth. When labor and childbirth go as they should, women can choose how they want to deliver. Natural childbirth is a vaginal birth. For some women, this means that no pain medications such as laughing gas or epidural are used. An epidural is when a health professional injects painkillers into a mother's back. For others, a natural birth can include pain medications. While mom too hopes for a natural birth, mom one says, Uh, I'm scheduled for an elective Caesar because I'm having twins. A Caesar is a medical operation which is used when a natural birth is not recommended. It is also known as a cesarean section or C-section and can either be done as an emergency when it wasn't planned but looks like the best option for a mother or baby at some point during childbirth or an elective Caesar which is decided in advance and therefore scheduled. When a woman is expecting twins, for example, a doctor might recommend having an elective Caesar as the birthing of twins might be more complicated. Let's listen to that whole conversation again. It's so exciting to finally take part in this antenatal class, isn't it? I know. We're so lucky we're part of the catchment area for this hospital. Yes, my sister had her baby here as well, and she said that the midwives and doctors are amazing. I'm hoping all goes well and I have a natural birth, but I have made sure that my birth plan includes an epidural. What about you? Uh, I'm scheduled for an elective Caesar because I'm having twins. My guest today is Sunita Pokarel from SBS Nepali. Hi, Sunita. Thanks for joining the show. My pleasure, Nikki. We were just talking about the research you did for your podcast series on pregnancy. Yes. Our podcast series entitled Mom Mane Ama or Mom Meaning Mother in English is all about the journey of motherhood from falling pregnant all the way to raising a child. Talking to all the migrant moms in the series, I found that a difficulty a lot of them had was getting used to the health system here in Australia. I agree. It can get confusing for someone who is used to a different healthcare system. It can get overwhelming. Yes, but one thing to remember is that the moment you suspect you are pregnant, go to a GP so you can be given a pregnancy test and a routine blood test to check on your overall health. From there, your GP can refer you to healthcare professionals who will take care of you during your pregnancy and childbirth. Ah, yes. 
and from having a checkup with your GP, you can either choose to go to a public or private hospital during your pregnancy. Yes, generally, healthcare is great in Australia. And the major differences between public and private are the costs and the number of different people who take care of you. If a woman chooses to go to a public hospital, the costs are all covered by Medicare. Midwives will typically look after her throughout her pregnancy. She won't be under the care of one doctor. If a woman decides to go private, she and or her private insurance will pay for the majority of the costs. She can choose to be under the care of a particular obstetrician, a doctor who specializes in women's health and delivering babies. Thanks for the useful information, Sunita. In the meantime, let's repeat the useful phrases from this episode. See if you can answer the question before hearing the answer. What does it mean when someone says they are expecting? It means they are pregnant. Who is a midwife? A midwife is a health professional who cares for expectant mothers and newborns around childbirth. We heard different phrases that are useful when talking about pregnancy. We're expecting. How far along are you? When's your due date? I'm in my third trimester. The morning sickness has eased off. I'm throwing you a baby shower. We also heard different terms regarding professional and medical assistants like antenatal classes and catchment areas and different terms regarding birth plans like epidural or emergency and elective caesar. For this episode's transcript and notes, check out our website at sbs.com.au slash learn English. And for any comments and suggestions, reach out to us through Facebook or email us at learnenglish at sbs.com.au. We are SBS Learn English. Thank you for listening.